This clip introduces the technique of implicit differentiation. First, I want to tell you why we need implicit differentiation. Usually we have functions where we describe y as a simple function of x, but sometimes we have occasions where this isn't quite so clear. And let me illustrate that with an ellipse. As you may remember from your geometry lessons that uh, an ellipse looks like this and let's say we have an uh, x and y Cartesian coordinate system and then the equation which all points on that ellipse uh, fulfill is something like this x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals to 1 where x and y are the x and y coordinates and a and B describe how far the ellipse stretches into the A and the Y dimension. It's not important uh, to, to remember that formula, just perhaps to remember that there is a formula. So now we may be interested in the slope to this function. It's really only a function in inverted commas. Okay, but we may want to calculate the slope to this beast at this ellipse to at particular points. And this is basically what we uh, what we are after. So what we want to achieve algebraically is we want to get an expression for dy over dx because we know or we are we are familiar with how expressions dy over dx express the slope in such a Cartesian coordinate system. Ordinarily we would want to solve that equation up there for y but sometimes that is too difficult or even unnecessary to solve this equation for y in order to obtain an equation for the slope dy over dx. So this is what we will demonstrate here. We'll basically find that dy over dx without having to solve the elliptic equation for y. But we need to keep in mind that y is really implicitly defined as some function, and I put function in inverted commas because it may not be a one-to-one -one map mapping, but implicitly defined as some function of x and we will use that knowledge to get our solution. So let us first replicate the elliptic equation here and once we've done that we'll see how we get dy over dx from uh, that elliptic equation. So here's our elliptic equation. I'll keep a little bit of space in between for good reasons. So what we're now going to do is we're going to find the derivative of this entire function or, in, or basically this equation in fact of both sides of the equation with respect to x. Okay. Um, why we do that will become obvious in a moment. So both sides we find the derivative with respect to x. On the left hand side we have the derivative of uh, two summons so we can um, decompose that in the derivative of that x squared over a squared term with respect to x and the derivative with respect to x of y squared over b squared. And on the right hand side uh, we keep the derivative of that uh, constant 1 with respect to x. So, with this now in the back we'll see that there are a few easy wins here. So that first term here is a function of x only and we want the derivative of x. We know how to do that. That's just 2x over a squared. And on the right hand side, the derivative of this constant with respect to x is zero. So the difficulty is here in this part. And what's the difficulty? We want a derivative with respect to x, but we don't have x, we have y. However, we kept in mind that y is really some sort of function of x. So here's now the trick. 
we apply when we do uh, implicit differentiation. So we have this function which contains y but not x and what we can do is we can find the derivative with respect to y and then very much like the chain rule, in fact it is the chain rule, we have to multiply that with dy over dx. Now this is where everything conspires in our favor because that is exactly what we are after. We want an expression for that slope. So now we have introduced into our equation exactly what we are after. In some sense we just have to solve for this. But there's one more derivative which we can solve that and that is just 2y over b squared because we are deriving this with respect to y. And then we are left with this term dy dx. This term, this equation can now be solved for dy dx. So we get dy dx is equal to negative 2x over a squared times b squared over 2y. And uh, with a little simplification and rearrangement, we get minus x over y times b squared over a squared. So this is now the algebraic expression for the slope at uh, on our ellipse. Okay, at a particular point characterized by coordinates x and y, and the terms a and b uh, characterize our ellipse. So if you, for instance, look at this point, x is zero here, and we should get a slope of zero. And of course, if you go to our equation, and if for x you substitute zero, you'll figure out that dy over dx is of course equal to zero. So we have a negative sign, so whenever x and y have the same sign, uh, we will have a negative slope. So that will be in the um, on the top right quadrant of our uh, coordinate system and in the bottom left. And indeed, in there, the slope is positive to the ellipse. And when x and y have opposite signs, our slope will be positive, and that will be the case in the top left and the bottom right quadrant. And that's of course right. So that's uh, all honky-dory.